Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jose and today we are going to continue with our three-dimensional project. On today's video we are going to make the windows and also the crystals of the hexagonal area. So let's change our view to our three-dimensional view. It's going to rotate a little bit the cube and we are going to select the crystals from the hexagonal uh, area. Once all the crystals are selected, we are going to create a copy, CO copy, and then we are going to extrude the crystals. Proximally, for bit. Once the crystals were selected, we need to change our view to 3D basics. And let's apply the material uh, to the crystals. We have to go to Material Browser, select the same glassy we selected before, and apply to the crystals. From this side, uh, okay, in both sides, so on both sides. Let's create now a block. So, with a common block, the name uh, will be Crystals Z 3D. The pick point will be this corner. And now I'm going to select all objects. Block units are OK, inches, and now click on OK. We have now our block. We need now to insert that block to our structure. So I'm going to move it to this point over here, this corner. Okay, is there. Now we need to check. We need to evaluate if the position is the right one. If we need to move it or adapt the position, I think we need to go now to our top view and I think it would be better if we change to visual style to wireframe okay now we can have a, a better view and I'm going to move this crystal to the original position we have on our 2d drawings and, and let's change our visual style to realistic again. Let's change the view to again to our 3D. And yeah, I think we need to elevate our crystals. And there. Finally, our crystal block is on, on the right position in the hexagonal uh, area on both sides uh, the crystal looks great on the reception I already made a window I follow uh, the same procedure that I did with the uh, doors you can create I mean you can make a hole in the wall and then insert your window Remember, you have to create the frame and you have to create the, the crystal. The next um, element will be the face. We will go to our two-dimensional view and change the layer. I think we have to minimize these tops. And let's create a rectangle. from this point to that point. Okay, let's erase that line and extrude. Mm, 
four inches and I think we'll be okay so four inches enter I'm going to elevate the shades seven feet six inches and looks good now I'm going to create the windows uh, shade I'm going to activate all snap to find the different points I want and then I'm going to use the common rectangle from this point to that point extrude again four inches and you need to elevate that uh, shape the same height that the previous one seven feet six inches they are on the same level now let's go to the top view because we need to create a mirror so I'm going to select the, sh the shade and create a mirror is there now and from the front view looks good Finally, I'm going to apply the material to the shades and we need to change our to our 3D basics and on material browser we need to create a new material it will be a concrete and I'm going to leave the same features and I will apply it A little bit dark. Let me try to apply to the other shades because I think um, I better change the color of that concrete because it doesn't look like a the right one for shades. It's more for floors, for the outdoors floors. Let's change a little bit of color to see if it change. Mm, it's not good enough for me. I think I'm going to create another um, material. But I'm going to select a picture uh, on an in internet. You can you can find um, on Google a new texture like this one this is a concrete texture and on select image I'm going to select the image that, uh, that I download before and close um, the features and apply the material and I think it looks much better it looks more realistic that is exactly what I want because it's a concrete uh, shade on that material on that and for the shade I will I will leave this uh, material and for the outdoor floor I'm going to leave I'm going to leave the other one that is darker I'm going to create also a new material but this new material will be for floors so I'm going to look for texture for ceramic texture and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to download an image and apply it to our floor now you can see that floor changed let's create another material for wall paint 
I think this color is the right one. I'm not going to change it. I I really like light colors on, on the walls. And I'm going to apply it to the walls. This wall. Also on this wall and the other one that is below. Okay. Also I will apply it to the columns. And I'm going to create another material but this time for the uh, columns uh, paint. But this time I'm going to change the color. I need I would like to have like a blue color. Um, let's change a little bit the texture of this color. And this blue is the right one. So now I need to apply it to the columns that I have. Just this is the last one. And no, this is the right, the last one. Sorry. Let me apply to this um, column. We finished our today's video. We learned how to create our crystals and also how to apply materials to the floors, shades, windows, and doors. On the next video we are going to create our roof and also our laying ceiling and apply the materials as well. So please do not forget to subscribe to my channel because that allows me to continue with this, with this type of videos and also do not forget to follow me on my social media on Instagram and Facebook. I'll be posting really interesting information over there and I think it will be really helpful for you. And I wish you well. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.